Well, in the shop with me today is Matt August from Steel Rubber Products. How are you doing, Matt? Doing great, Dennis. Glad to be back. Well, you know, there's a you know, the right way and a wrong way to do everything. I, right. I know most of the wrong ways. Um, <laughs> well, I've done the wrong ways and I've learned the right way. The right way. And I look and to you. I look to you for the right way when oh, it comes to. You, well, that's so very good. <laughs> when it comes to rubber. So we're, that's what we're going to talk about today. Is, is really proper adhesive application when when you need to, right? Right. So it's not just slather on all the uh, all the uh, adhesive you can. No. Huh? No. no. But we'll start that way. Because that's, <laughs> that's what I used to do when I first started. Right. I didn't well, know what the heck more, I was more doing. More is better, is that? Uh, I always thought more was better. And, uh, you know, you start with blocks. And so these are, these just these demo are just, blocks. These are just demo blocks. Well, they're that's a pretty, aluminum. They're, pretty hefty chunk. They're three pounds. Well, yeah. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to hold this up with, with the rubber strip. Hopefully. Really? Well, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll if see. I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> now, the first thing we'll do is how I first used to do it, and most people do it, is they would just put a bead of rubber down. And then, once they had that bead, they would just stick the rubber on it. Seems to make Sounds sense to me. Sounds simple enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you would just take it, and we go from one end down to the other end, and zap. Now you notice. Kind of gushing out. It's gushing, it's, it moves around, yeah. it's, yeah, we'll let it sit. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll put this one, one over sit. here. We'll put this one over here. Now, next. the next one. The proper way to do it is you put a thin layer on thin, it. Thinner than this? Oh, very thin. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Less is, less less is, is more. <laughs> less is more here, right. Very thin layer. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a... That's thin, right? Yeah. And... And that's going to hold it? Yeah, and we just put okay. it out there. And we let that get tacky. Now, we do the same thing with the back of the rubber. So you're, pl you're applying to each? Right, you okay. apply it to each side, and you let it get ta uh, let it get tacky. Now you're going to smear it around again. I'm going to smear this one too. Okay, and make it. But that really isn't a heck of a lot of adhesive. No, it's very very little, and and it'll dry. It'll get tacky. It dries up faster that way too. Okay, and Good we'll point. let that sit. All right. Now, while we let that sit, I'm going to tell you about uh, our peel and stick. Our peel and stick. You know, we use it on fiberglass, yeah, cars, yeah. smooth metal, whatever. That's even easier because I once you've cleaned your your uh, door or chunk of aluminum, whatever right, chunk, of, chunk aluminum, of aluminum, whatever you're gonna you stick it to, you're there. You peel. Then it's just peel and, and stick. stick. <laughs> which is you know <laughs> hence the name. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's just peel it down and stick it on. Okay. And hence and Peel wow. and stick, and it and it sticks, and it sticks. Okay, you know, so it's it's an immediate job. Now, now here, tacky over here yet? Do you think? Uh, it looks like it just needs just. Well, this is getting there. It's yeah. getting and very you're saying, you're kinda, close. You're, just, that? you're doing that by feel. Right, and you can see that it's I'm, it's not sticking to my glove, so it is getting tacky. It's slightly not coming tacky. off on my finger. And then we just put a set of real thin additional layer. Additional layer, just on one side. Okay. And we do the same thing again. We smear it, it smear it out. Okay. Now this time, before it dries up, we're going to go ahead and apply it. Oh, okay. So this time I'm applying it wet, basically. Mm-hmm. That's on one side. And it goes down just like contact cement. Basically, where it goes, it's there. Now, the difference is going to be is that I can pick, pick this that up. one up. Can I do that here? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Oh, I, and I, not quite. I can do it, but the, the That's aluminum what block doesn't come with me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're I'm, this way. You're still picking both of them up. Fantastic. After all, look at this. Nice and clean. What about that one? That's a, oh, that, a little on that, the side. That, it needs not, a little clean. That's not very right? nice. Yeah, well, I'll work on it later. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right, well, hey, if you want to learn about the proper adhesive application or any other rubber installation tips, log on to myclassiccar.com. We'll direct you to stale rubber. Nice job, man. Well, thank you. For classic performance products, cruise over to the Speed Shop Mall at eggyspeedshop.com.